Hey guys, how's it going? John Fork here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory 2. Where should we go? So last episode, guys, we found a game console, which actually ended up being a portal to another dimension. This dimension, the Zero Dimension. Once we were here, we looked around, found a new friend, Osume, and she brought us to her nice little hideout over here. So that's pretty much where we left off. So now let's go to the next place and let's see what happens. Let's try going here. All right. So what's the game plan, Uzume? So basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Makes sense. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Yeah, sounds pretty simple. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy. Nepsy? Nep to... Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. Yeah, that's why Nep has so many nicknames. Nep, Nep-Nep, Nepi, Nepsy, Nepper. There's so many of them. But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname. So I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearzy. Gearzy! Gearzy? <laughs> She's surprised. Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearzy. Gearzy. Oh, Gearzy, she likes huh? it. <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. What's going on? Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. All right. We won't lose. I'll be serious. Whoa. That thing looks cool. Prepare yourself. Oh, nip you all. Yes. I'll end this all. All right, takes a lot of damage. Yeah. Of course, it attacks in the gears first. Yeah. I don't know why, but the gear seems to be attack always first. It just seems to have the strongest attacks for some reason. At least for now. Ooh, I'm almost died. Fury. Oh. Okay, let's yeah. kill it. There we go. For the sake of the others, I can't lose. Alright, we didn't level up. Phew! I think we've taken care of all the monsters in the area. It was only one monster, okay. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. Some NC growls are back. It's a lot larger than the ones we just fought. <laughs> you bastard. Of course you would be here. What? What? Uzume, are you acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. Hey, you mutt! This ends today! Right here, right now! What is that? That's a share crystal? Oh, it's a share crystal! How can I forget? Today, this is going to end differently, because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant! Share crystal! Transform! Nice, we gotta see here, transform! She looks good. Complete. Oh my god! Her voice! It's a lot higher pitch now. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, has been true Ivers. Okay, so they all used to learn another bitty. Formation skills. Oh, so that's what that was for. Okay. You girls asking who I am. It's me, Uzume. Uzu Mei. I'll be serious. <laughs> I did not expect her transformation to go that way. She became a lot higher pitch and I know she just kind of sounds a lot sweeter. Ta-da! Uzume's turn. <laughs> I like it though. I like her voice. Spiral dream. <laughs> Leave this to me. All right, so here we go. Now we can do the 
combo thing, but we don't have our EXC drive level one yet, so we can't really do it. I do? See, let's actually hit him with the scrim, bro. Here I go. It's my wow, turn. I missed the second one, really? I've been yeah. Oh, I missed Nepgear somehow. Okay. Yes, Usumi's turn. Kill. Kill. Uh, so oh, tired. it's obsessed with killing. You need to kill and kill. Is that way another dreamer? Okay, the second it's hit didn't turn. actually miss this time. So let's see, uh, skills. Oh, Usumi needs to get out of her HDD form. So I guess when we get to her again, we'll do the try first. What just to kind of see how it is. Mm. What should I do? Okay, let's use damage a little. Uh, Make sure it dies with the tribers. So here we go. Turn off HDD. Ah, uh, let's do it. Let's go. Gotcha. What? Yeah. All right. So uh, I was expecting a little bit more, but for the mm, sake of the others, I guess it's the I first one. Lose. Okay, she leveled up. Oh, I finally won against Doggy. Doggy? It's Doggy. But it's totally because of you guys that I defeated it. Thanks so much. Oh, shucks. No need to thank us. We're friends now. I'd go to bat for you any day of the week. She's right. We're friends now. Um, so, what's your name, CPU Uzume? It's Orange Heart. That's so cool! I was really surprised by your transformation, Uzume. Yeah, I was also very surprised. I did not expect transformation to go like that. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HDD form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs too. Yeah, I really like how Orange Heart looks. What? Like for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dagoos in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. Leap giant dagoos in a single bound. Okay then. Except, I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Piercy? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Oh, okay. Just been starting back to normal. Ugh, ran out of time. Ran out of time? Oh, right. It looked like you were using a share crystal to transform. Still alive? Where's that another one? What the goodness? It's still alive? Okay, this is the same one. Damn it. You're a resilient bastard, aren't you? Do you Shoot. Any more of this is gonna be tough, even for me. But if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end. It ran away? Ha! Huh. It's running away because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, ha! Huh. Keep on walking, tough guy. I don't think Neptune could intimidate anyone. Neptune, I think it's just leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant. She wants to still go and take on the giant, like right now. W wait just a second, Uzume. How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to... We'll keep going till the very end. You know that's not what I mean. 
All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. Incoming! Ah! <sighs> A surprise attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Oh, she's hurt. Are you okay, Uzume? Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh, crap. Did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? Have they all been evacuated? Uzume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh, good. We just made it. Yes, they're safe now. Thanks to you, Uzume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think it's time we escape as well? We should really escape. Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? Dark purple. Oh, so that's what it's called. It's called dark purple. Okay. Ah! Watch out! Huh? Just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. Neptune! Uzume! Are you both alright? We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsy. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? No, it's not a good idea. Not even close to being a good idea. Of course I do. Okay, she does think it's a good too idea. Too risky! Let's get out of here while we still can! We should really do that. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Aww, she's scared Nep gear. I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you wanna leave, then just go. She's very dedicated. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No, I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die, even if I have to go down with it, huh? Yeah! <laughs> uh, ouch! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> okay, so Neptune's snapping her out of it. You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. Rope? R rope? I, I think she meant to say hope. Yeah, that's the word. Hope. All the good little monsters were able to escape. Isn't that good enough for now? You don't need to push yourself, pal. Anyway, that's how it's gonna be. Nepgear, give me a hand here. Okay. Whoa, hey! Let me go, you jerks! You can't just pick me up like this! Put me down! Nice, they just gotta pick her up and get out of there. Got a good grip on her, Nep Jr.? Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! Nice, and then you scare her off. Phew. I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed either. You idiots, getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people, and how could... Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kind of needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know. Wait, what is this? Reasoning? From Neptune? Yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so... Thank you. Heh, <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use. Alright, so it looks like we're going back to her base, so uh, let's head back. Can't we just hang out here? Oh, well, I guess that's as far as the English got. Well, I can't change the voices now, so I guess I'm just gonna have to do this. I would do a girl voice, or attempt to do a girl voice, if my voices weren't so bad. So yeah, I only come with a default voice and accent. 
and I can't really do anything else. So, we have really want normal voice. So, what's happening to our giant thing? It's gonna make its way over here at some point. Am I gonna need to show it my final form? Don't worry. Looks like it's after. Look like after it's hit a ramp, it should disappear again. That's what it usually does. Oh, so we made it out safely? Well, yeah, but the area is destroyed. It's no good to us anymore. I'm a little worried. We are running out of places to go. But, I'm glad everyone got out okay. Plus, we were able to seriously injure that mud. Even the small victory are pretty sweet. You guys are pretty worn out too, right? I got some food if you're hungry and blankets if it gets cold. Make yourselves at home. Alright, so... We have a couple of conversations here. So I think we're gonna go Nepgear, Neptune, Osume. So, let's go with Neptune first. Hey, Neptune. What do you think this city is called? Me, it's me, but why are you asking? I thought I'd keep a record of our experience and document any irregularities we encounter. I'm very curious as to why these buildings look more so much like Phantoms. It's all, isn't it? Ah, let's ask Usume. She'll know for sure. Um, the name of the city? Sorry, I don't know it either. Huh? You don't know? You're the CPU! Well, yeah, I'm the CPU, but to be honest, all of my memories are gone. What? I woke to the side of this city in shambles, and that's the earliest thing I can recall. It's a name that I don't even know what its name is. The only thing I'm sure of it is that I am the CPU of this nation, and that that giant is responsible for its destruction. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. It's alright, really. Nothing for you to worry about, you see? Having the memories ain't hurting me in any way. It's, it is what it is. Sorry, I can't really help. Alright, so now we'll be doing nothing. So, I've been meaning to ask, but where do you and Gears come from, Nepsi? We live in Planetune. Ever heard of it? Planetune? What just happened? Ah! Oh! What's wrong, Usume? Oh, nothing really. I think it's just fatigue finally catching up to me. So, Planetune, was it? Sorry, but I don't think I know it. I see. Only, there is the possibility that it's a nation from across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yeah, i never been. I'm not sure what's over there. Then, does that mean that we crossed an ocean and ended up in another continent without even knowing it? Is that even possible? I can't say I'm very convinced. But, it would explain why the end gear has no reception and why we can't transform. Do you two remember how you even got here? It didn't seem like you flew or anything. We're actually not sure of that ourselves. I pressed the power button of a game console I was trying to fix. Then a giant board disappeared. Sucked us in, and we ended up in this city. A board did, huh? No matter how you look at it, a faraway continent or not, this must be what warped you guys here. Oh, hey! It's been bothering me for a while. But, why can't we feel any shares here? Well, there aren't any people. Anywhere. What? There might be some humans in places I don't have no knowledge of, but i never seen them. So, that's why we couldn't feel any share power at all? And that's why you use a share crystal to transform. But, where did you find something as rare as a share crystal? Oh, it was just lying around here somewhere. What? Share crystals are just lying around? Okay then. What? You just find the share crystals on the ground? Is that normal here? Definitely. Okay then. <laughs> she doesn't seem surprised at all. That's impossible! Share crystals are the condensed crystallization of invisible share energy. How can they be found on the ground? That's right, but something wrong? In order to manufacture a share crystal, you need a huge amount of shares and a special formula in order to crystallize it. 
Before this, when fighting an enemy called the Deity Sin, the oracles of our nations created shark crystals. Apparently managed to make four. For those to use to be lying out in the open? Huh? So that's how shark crystals are made. To be honest, even I don't know why shark crystals are lying on the ground. So for you, they're like slightly rare items that can give you a temporary boost in shares. Yeah, something like that. That's why I always carry them with me, so I won't run out. Look! Amazing! This might be the first time I've seen such a large pile of share crystals. It's embarrassing, but I can't go HDD unless I have these things, so my allies are always on the lookout for more. Oh man, you're really living life on the edge. Can't be helped. Besides, it's good to have something to rely on. Well, you can rest assured from now on, even if I can't transform, the goddess of victory is on my side. Yes! Protagonist powers! I got high hopes for you guys. Alright then, if that's the case, then let's celebrate by having a delicious juice party. Nepgear, lend me your strength! You got it! I think those two turn out to be CPUs. But that headache is now. Planetine. Even though it's my first time hearing it, why does it make me feel so uneasy? I think Usume may have or may have known something before you know her memories were erased about Planetine. Alright, so now let's do Usume's. Hey, Osume, I have a question about that thing. Hmm, you mean about the giant? Yeah, that. We can call it stuff like the giant or that thing. But does it actually have a name? A name, huh? I never really thought about it. I wonder if it has a name at all. You don't know anything about its real identity either? Right, like where it came from or what was its purpose here? I don't know anything about that. It's not like I can just talk to it. All I know is that it's on the warpath whenever it appears. When it destroys cities, it erases them from existence. Then you vanish. I keep saying it, but we are really, really not a place to hide. What? Those cities just... They just vanish? That's the craziest thing I ever heard. That's not all. I haven't seen them myself, but... There are also three other giants as well. They destroy the other three nations. There are four of those things? Oh jeez. You picked a really bad time to visit this place. Oh my god, I should have gotten some water when I was about to do this. Cause I did not expect uh all these things not to have English. Like back to back. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more English, but I think I could really do it about it. Alright, so there's another Osume one, so let's go do that one. Th 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 this is awful, Nepgear! I don't see any pudding anywhere! Well, it would need to be refrigerated anyway, so you're probably out of luck. Oh, pudding! You're fine, the ingredients. I'll make some for you later. So, just be patient for now, okay? Yippee! I love you the most, this Nep Jr. Uh, Neptune, it's embarrassing for you to hug me in a place like this. Hey, I've been wondering for a while now. But you are the older sister, right, Nepsy? That's absolutely correct. I am. In fact, the elder of the two of us. How do you know like how do you like that? Wow, seriously? I thought it was the other way around. We get that a lot. Since I'm a bit taller and Neptune's personality as well, you know, people like to tell us we were born in the wrong order. I know she's a little peculiar at times, but when it comes down to it, Neptune's incredibly dependable and just plain cool. Huh, there are certainly some interesting pairs of siblings in the world. Okay, so I think I get that we landed on a continent across the ocean, but how are we gonna get back over there? Well, 
I think we'll have to find a boat since we can't really fly without transforming. So that means our first quest is to find a boat? Just like that one famous RPG? I'm super pumped! You know, I'm sure his tour is really worried about us since we just disappeared with our trace. We need to hurry and find a way home. Nebir, do you think it's okay for us just to leave? What do you mean? I mean, Osume. She's been fighting alone for who knows how many years, without any idea of who or where she is. Even if we're able to find a way home, shouldn't we help her out first? There's no need for that, Nepsi. Oh, Usume, what do you mean by that? If you have a home to get back to, you should hurry up and get back there. But, Usume? In all honesty, it was surreal running into you girls. I never thought I'd meet other people in this dump, let alone a pair of CPU sisters. When you both literally stood alongside me in battle, it made me so freaking happy to be alive! It was something I never felt before. But, when it's all said and done, this battle is between me and the giant idiot. There's no need for you to risk your lives here. So, if you have people waiting on you, you should leave. I'm the CPU here. This nation is my responsibility and mine alone. She is very dedicated to her CPU duties. Osume, now that we know all that, we can't possibly leave you here all by yourself. To fight that thing on your own for so long? It's too horrible. Oh come on, it's not horrible at all. That's just everyday life for me. Um, Usume, when you say the responsibility is yours alone, has there really been no other CPU to come and help you in the past? That's right, I've always been the only CPU here. And there's no one else to help you fight, even if they're not CPUs? It's a shame, but there's no one else that could look like they could fight. It's up to me. That's all the more reasons for us to help. Two heads are better than one, but three heads are better than two. Oh, I mean, I get that you know how to fight, but I couldn't possibly do something so uncool like involving unrelated people in this fight. We're not unrelated, we're friends! You can't just ignore a friend who's in trouble. It wouldn't feel right to just leave. Friends, huh? It's not like I think of you guys alike. Actual f friends or anything like that. We have another Sundare. My god. It's gonna be real interesting seeing her and Noir interact. I kinda wanna see that already. <laughs> One first serving of Sundari coming right up! <laughs> Nev just knows it right away. Oh, I know. I have a proposal for you, Usume. Will you listen to me for a second? Proposal? Why don't you let Neptune and I help you until we go back home? What? Until you go home? I'm trying to tell you that it's too dangerous. You should head home immediately. About that. Don't you think it will be dangerous for us to explore a strange land we are unfamiliar with? We have no idea where our boat might be, and we don't know when a that giant is going to show up again. Also, if we were to be targeted, I don't think Neptune and I could handle it alone. What are you getting at? That must be sort of fate that we met, so why don't we work together? I get it. I hope you guys look for a way home, and in the meantime you help me fight. Oh, I suspect from my kid sister. A great two birds with one stone idea. Well, what the hell? It's not like you're going to listen to me anyway. Let's go as Gear says and work together. Meh? Also meh. But if we find a way to get you guys home, I'm sending you guys back as soon as I can. I won't have any complaints about it. <laughs> Understood. Um, there's nothing here either. What's wrong, Neptune? You've been searching through a bunch of rooms for a while now. I got kind of dirty from the last battle. I got kind of dirty from the battle before, so I wanted to take a bath or a shower, but I can't find one anywhere. Now that you mention it, I should do that too. I might smell not great. The last battle really made me work up a sweat. <laughs> hmm. I don't think you smell, Gearsy. 
Usume, what are you doing? Oh, well, you said you might smell bad, so I sniffed you. Check it out if you did it, but don't worry, you smell like a good shampoo. There isn't an even, there isn't even a hint of stinkiness. Really? Yeah, I may run and hide, but I'll never tell you a lie. That's me in a nutshell. Thank goodness. Usume is building up to Neptune's flag. I never expected her to be wooed by the same gender. Your big sister's starting to get anxious about your future, Nep Jr. N Neptune! Don't say weird things! Well, your cheeks were getting red and you were even looking at her with upturned eyes. I can't help but feel suspicious. That was because I was embarrassed and not! <laughs> you two are always so funny. Get this! This is partly your fault too! Sorry, sorry, my bad. Forgive me. By the way, what you doing here, Osame? Do you need something from us? You're looking for a place to bait, right? We don't have a bad, but I thought I'd tell you about a replacement for showering. You have a shower? I'm sending seeing some fan service coming up. Follow me, I'll show you. Woo! The water feels so good! And there it is. Right? Isn't it even better after you exercise? Yep, cool water fear is the best against my warm up body. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Whoa, that's an awesome idea to open a hole in the roof water tank and use it as a rain shower. It's like the wisdom of everyday life, or the wisdom of survival instincts. I've been living here for a long while, so this kind of knowledge naturally sinks in. Since you've been here, you should take a shower with me too. Listen mate, it's nice and cool. Um, uh, I'll pass. Ah, why not? Are you too embarrassed to take it all off outside? Well, no, I'm used to that, so I got no reservations towards it. But, um, well, you know, um, you see, I got it. You're embarrassed to get naked in front of other people. Uh, you idiot! That's not it at all! Looks like you're right on the mark, bitch sis. It's not on the mark! It's not at all like I'm embarrassed to be naked in front of others because I've been alone all this time or anything. Wow, she spilled that all out by herself. Oh, I know, I'd love to see your super cool birthday suit, Usume. Huh? I'd like to see you throw your clothes off all dramatically and take a shower with an awesome splash. Come on, show me your cool self. If you took a shower all natural on the rooftop, and the man the building with no one around, I think it'll be super wild and stylish. Nothing. I don't think that will. I guess it can't be helped. If you insist, Nepsy, then I will show you. Oh, let's see this. There it is. No way, you're actually going to undress? Wee! You're so stylish, Yusume. You're way past school. You're awesome! Oh, damn it! This is so embarrassing! Huh? What did you say, Osme? What? I didn't say nothing. I'm not embarrassed by this at all. In fact, it feels good to be disliberated. She seems to be getting desperate. But how do you manage to make her undress, Neptune? I didn't have proof, but ever since we first met, she seemed fit city on being cool. Investigations worked it. Huh? I was spot on. Now that you mention it, you might be right. Aren't you getting in too, Gear C? She's right. You should jump in, Nep Gear. It's the perfect level of chili to feel good. But, um, taking my clothes off? Outside is. It's too embarrassing. Oh, what? I didn't know you swung that way. What are you getting all hung up about? We're all girls here. So you don't have to worry about being seen, right? Besides, it's a once in a lifetime experience to bear it all in the middle of a city like this. Uh, I don't think I need that kind of experience. Alright, Nepsy, if it comes down 
Alright, Nepsy, if it comes to this, let's undress her. I won't forgive you for being the only one not undressing from embarrassment. Why are you that? What? Wait, um, no! And now I got my thumbnail. Oh, this is way too embarrassing. No one's looking, right? It's fine, there's no one else here but us. Thank goodness. It's still kind of fun to take a shower with everyone like this. Maybe because I was alone for so long. It ends up feeling even better. Well then, since we're met like this, we should do a bunch of fun things you've never done before, Osume. <laughs> I know what kinds of things they're talking about. Wink. We can wash each other's backs in the bath and eat meals together and do lots of other great things with each other. Ah, yeah, great things with each other. That's right. I like to do all sorts of fun things for you, Osume. <laughs> My god, this is way too easy. <laughs> Nepsi, you see. Then it's time to check how much both of you have developed. Whoa, Nepsi. Yeah. Please don't touch there. Oh, I know what she's touching. She's touching the boobs. Oh. Nap Station! Here, here, our new sensational program has suddenly started yet again. Its name, it's Nap Station. In this program, we have a quiz show where you win prizes for correct answers. And a mail order corner when you could buy items only available here. By the way, I'm sure all of you sitting on the other side of the screen know this, but... This program is separate from the main story and meta fields, so keep an open mind. And so, our first episode explaining the program has ended. This has been your host, Neptune, and her younger sister, Nepgear. See you later! Morning, Nep Jr. What are you up to? Oh, Neptune! I wanted to learn more about this place, so I was gathering information on the internet. This is your specialty after all. So, did you find anything good? Nothing yet. The wireless isn't functioning in this area. So I just connect the end gear to the net by cable. Oh, that's why the end gear has a cable dangling from it. I have to be careful not to step on it. Ah, thanks. Anyway, even if the information is kind of broken, I did find some things of note. Like this map. I'm currently repairing it with a software tool, so once it's done, I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, I knew we could count on you. You're super dependable in times like this. <laughs> really? Hey, Nepsy, finally awake, huh? You slept well? You betcha! I slept so well, I had a dream about diving into an ocean of pudding. Wow, I. I never thought anything. Wow, I, I just don't even know what, what to say to that. The blankets were so warm too. It's kind of nice living in the Stone Age. Everything's so, so unsimple. Well, that's good to hear. So, is Gears still working on that thing? Yes, I connected my gear to the internet to collect information. Huh, that Angier thing is pretty amazing. If you can connect to the World Wide Web, it's so thin. World Wide Web? This might be the first time I heard someone use that phrase, on, on, ironically. But is there any usable information on the web? Most of it's disconnected and a lot of servers are broken. So I doubt it's functioning properly. It's, like you said, it's in a pretty terrible state. But it looks like public organizations and the Basilicum servers are still online. That's where I found map data. Most of the rest was broken though. Oh, also, I found this through hacky. I mean investigating. What is your BBS, Asume? I thought I heard hacky just now. Really? I'm sure it was your just... Really? I'm sure it was just your imagination. <laughs> What's this BBS you're talking about? It's this bulletin board called Dream BBS. Most of the threats are about safety confirmation, survivor reports, or general discussion, it seems. From what I could tell, 
it is possibly just using a freely distributed style sheet. Just kind of nostalgic. Let me see. Show of hands, who's living? I'm Lidid. You're alive, dumbass. Man, this video is really gives up the feeling of when the internet has first started spreading. Maybe I'll post something too since I can. Oh, that thing! I started that boy a long time ago. I forgot my password though. I was never able to manage it decently. Sounds like a co-op, Junior. Ah, that doesn't sound like mine. Oops, that's mine. That device is awesome, Mistress. Is that... Usume. Good to hear from you. I'm relieved you're still with us. Well, hey. That giant's still out there. I'm not gonna bite the dust just yet. What's up? You don't usually check in this early. I'll get right to it. Do you remember how we evacuated to the next town over? Of course. Apparently, the baby bugs who live here have found the shirt crystal. I was very surprised. Really? Let's not get too excited. Yet. I still need to verify that it wasn't a fabricated report. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. Sorry for jumping the gun there. No need to apologize. I'll be in touch. Alright. I haven't introduced him to you. Huh. He'll be back soon. I'll choose him soon enough. Well, I'm gonna start making my rounds and patrol the city for a bit. Patrolling? What for? Even if the giant's not here, there are still some dangerous monsters running around. I defeat the most prominent ones, use as a means to ensure everyone's safety. Hmm, sounds kinda fun. I think I'll tag along and patrol with you. Not like I'm doing anything here. Yersi, what about you? Um, yeah, I'll come along as well. I might make some sort of discovery too. Alright then, let's move out. Heck yeah! Anyways, this looks like a perfect place to stop this episode. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next episode.